Ladies and gents, Six Figs here from YouTube, and in today's video, we're talking about the one and only Nervos Network, CKB, and we're going to be talking about the ecosystem news in the charts, so let's dive right into this. I hope you guys all had a wonderful weekend. Here I was fishing in my boat, caught a few largemouth bass over the weekend, but uh, I had to wrap it up and come back to reality, right? Eventually, I want to make it where I can just stay at my lake house every single day and not even have to work all right that's why we're all here to make some money but we are going to be talking about how nervous network is absolutely changing the game and we got an absolute banger of a tweet one of the strongest moats we often tout when discussing nervous is its ability to host or support universal applications However, being a relatively novel concept in crypto, universal dApps are still not widely understood and appreciated. Now, they go on to say how, unlike regular decentralized applications, which typically exist on a single blockchain and can therefore be accessed only via the accounts or addresses of those chains, universal dApps can be accessed with accounts from any chains folks and this is what's so cool about why or, or what the people over at dot bit are doing is they are creating this passport this user identity that can just kind of traverse all these other blockchains interact with them uh it's all a big interoperability game at the end of the day right what's the purpose of all the roads in the entire world if they don't connect together well, they just kind of are segregated and lead to a single place. So once you start entering into the idea of creating this ecosystem that is just connected to everything, that's when we're going to see really uh, real stuff flourish. I guarantee it. I've got a banger of a tweet out of crooked nervousness dot bit. Quantum resistance is the way to go for CKB when all out. When all else will fail to acknowledge the implications of the technological future, we will still be around. Our VM Flex will help us keep us in the game. And what he's talking about there is the virtual machine is extremely flexible at Nervos Network. So it allows for long-term maintenance, uh, development, everything. So that is important when it comes to uh staying in this game for the long run got an also got a, a crazy tweet out of renny h nervous nation retweet if you're excited for the first ckb having event folks and man this one's hitting me you know i'm very excited to see this i am not excited to see the minor profits x in half but it is what it is it's for the good of the people in the chain um we've got nervos nation if you are interested in really engaging with the nervos network community i want you guys to go on over to at nervos nation's twitter handle folks and they have a telegram channel i want you guys to tell them six figs sent you and this is the lifeblood of the community where everyone kind of comes together to talk about what's going on within the ecosystem. Everything from accomplishments to problems to uh, brainstorming great ideas. It's, it's all there. And everybody there is happy to help you guys. So let's check out Nervos on the charts, folks. Up 4.1% on the day. We've got it ranking in at 197. So we're back in the top 200, folks. And really, when it comes down to it, I think I really take projects under that top 300 or less. You know, those are the most serious projects out of like 25, 30,000 projects that are out there. So when we start looking at everything from 300 and lower, I mean, dang, there's, there's something to say about that. But uh, last time I left off, which was last week with uh, Nervos Network, was this right here i was kind of speculating how we might still be seeing this inverse head and shoulders that is happening in addition to all this i might drop a chart in the trade tank later that's more complex and it will tell you about the wyckoff pattern because this kind of looks like a wyckoff pattern to me and if you guys are interested uh, in getting uh, updates and things like that 
on charts and things like that when I'm not making videos, uh, head on over to the trade tank. Uh, it's right here. Just click on this. This link is in my description. Uh, just join. It's free. Once the membership hits 500, we're going to be doing a fi uh, 50 ICP giveaway, uh, which is like 250 bucks. It'll just go randomly to somebody. Uh, but for the time being on this, let's just scoot on over to the daily chart. Uh, we've got price action, which has really penetrated this 200 moving average, which is extremely huge. That's this yellow line, folks. Right now, as of this video, we are seeing price crest above the 200 moving average. Now, it is kind of squeezing up against this 50 moving average. Now, here's what I want to happen. I want to see this price action push this 200 moving average, and I want to see price action take a shot at this thin part of this Ichimoku cloud right through here. So, I really don't want to see price get rejected from here because guess what? That's bad because then we could end up with a death cross. But the problem with death crosses, folks, is they're not as bad as they sound a lot of times. Usually when we get a death cross or a golden cross, it's like a 50-50 shot on whatever way that price is going to react. So here we are on the daily chart. Here is a death cross price just bled down violently after it. Here is a golden cross. Once this thing crossed, price kind of dipped and there was a reversal. Uh, so, you know, it, it doesn't always mean that it's bad or good. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's kind of where we're at right now. Technically, I guess you could construe this as maybe some sort of bear flag, but... I'm really hoping that we hold uh, this current level of support at least around this 0 0.0032 uh, level. Um, when it also comes down to uh, some other things, in previous videos I've mentioned the possibility that there could be some sort of harmonic pattern uh, right in here from maybe like down to here, uh, up to there, up to there, and then back down to here. And if this harmonic pattern is true, or, um, you know, man, we could possibly see a price dip down to 0 0.002351. But I'm just hoping that uh, this isn't any sort of harmonic pattern, uh, even though it appears to check out to be one. I mean, you know, just keep that in the in the back of your head. And, and that would bring us back down to these lows from December ish uh, somewhere in there. So, I mean. <sighs> you know, it's it just, it is what it is right now. Let's just look at this thing on the weekly chart. Uh, again, I, I just can't, I just can't help folks, but to talk about this inverse head and shoulders that we have here or the start of one. So I, I definitely want to see this rebound happen. And when we look, when we just look at everything measured up on the weekly chart here, and we measure from this most recent high down to those all-time lows back in December. You know, we've seen this price come right down to the 786. So, I mean, that has me optimistic that we are now in bounce mode. Uh, so I'm hoping uh, that we can just kind of take off. Uh, here is an extremely thin part of the Ichimoku cloud coming up in October. So it might be this fall that we see uh, price break through it. I mean, this is just a thick part of the Ichimoku cloud to break through. But, uh, you know, we'll just have to kind of wait and see. This is like a wait and see kind of moment right now. We had this nasty bear leg. There was a symmetrical triangle squeeze. And now we're seeing this green pump happen. So uh, if we can break this, uh, what is this? What is this, folks? Oh, my goodness. Bear with me. If we can break this 0.003955-ish level, uh, we might be able to look for the 0.00453-ish level uh, as the next level of resistance support-wise, 0.003127. If you see that thing ripping below that 0.002970 level, uh, we could be in for some hurts. But, oh, man, I'm hoping, 
I am hoping we get this huge inverse head and shoulders, folks, because guess what? We want to make some money, right? And that's all I've got for you on today's show. We will be cranking out some more CKB videos later on in the week. We are getting back into the normal swing of things. Like the last month and a half has been insane for me. We had the whole house sick for like three weeks. Daughter was sick. Wife was sick. Even the cat was sick. I was sick. Uh, couldn't make any content. Just couldn't, right? Then we had some storm come through and then it like messed up the shingles and stuff on our house. And we had to get new roof put on. And then it was just like, oh my God, this last weekend was the first weekend I've had to breathe in the last month and a half. So we will see you all on the next video. I want to see each and every one of you on the trade tank, folks. That's right. Peace.